everyone, welcome to the Christmas performance. It's a bit different this year, but our aim's still the same, to share the magic of Christmas. We will take you on our journey to Bethlehem, where our king is born. The characters and storyline are based for your viewing pleasure. Get your favourite drink and snacks. Sit back and relax over your, over your comfort of your own home. Don't forget to join in the sing-along in the finale and enjoy the show. Christmas Eve! Oh, I'm not tired. Oh, I'm wide awake. Can we build a snowman? What about some bedtime snacks? No, it's far too late for that. Oh, but Mum! How about a bedtime story? And dinosaurs. What about the story of 2020? No, fans! We can read the same story, the Nativity. Wow! It took place on this very night more than 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years? It's a lot older than you! Yes. Of course, it is. Mum's only 1,000 years old. Hey, you, what's all this? Hello, Hello. The true story of Christmas. Oh, why? I know the one. <laughs> and Grandad wins the race. Grandma! listening to we could help you tell it it's the nativity the nativity is my favorite mine too gather around everyone is everyone snuggled in good then let's begin the story long long ago there lived a young woman called mary the angel gabriel who was god's messenger appeared to her one day do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favour with God. What do you mean, favour with God? You'll have a baby boy and he will be the son of God. I think I call him Terry. No, 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 he will be the son of God, he will be called Jesus. Many months passed till it was time for Mary to have her baby. Now at that time a man called Caesar was in charge. He was a mighty leader ruling over thousands of people. Of you. Don't we know it? Always tell us what to do. Stay alert. Wash our hands. Two meters. Make some space. Here he goes again. Hands, face, space. Everyone must be. 
be counted. Everyone did what Jesus said, so when he called for a census, so that everyone could be counted, everybody did what they were told at once. Every single person had to return to the place they'd been born in order to be counted. Poor Mary was about to have a baby and the journey was hot, dusty and exhausting. Travelling by donkeys isn't exactly fast. Says you. How much further is it? We are nearly there, Mary. Wait, wait, wait! Yes? Hey, Donkey! I go by car. I'd fly a private jet. Whoosh! It's going to take them forever. So? Uh, there weren't any cars, planes or trains back then. This was the best way to travel. After many days, they finally arrived in Bethlehem, which was crowded with people. Crowds? I thought Caesar said two meters apart. How did you get back to the story? This is madness. Absolute chaos traveling here. Over crowds. Over heat. I can't see many face masks. This way, everyone. Line up, line up, everyone this way. Come and be counted. No pushing in, using markers to give each other space. Can I have some hand job, please? Start again. And this time, get it right. One, two, three, four, sixteen, twenty one. <laughs> I am worried we need to find a place to sleep and fast. We already tried most of them. Look, what about those over there? No room to power in. No room to power in. So there. Are you all from the same bubble? Then I have a stair where you could stay in. Thank you. Thank you. Mary and Joseph must have been very grateful. After all, a, sta a stable was better than nothing. They settled down for the night with the animals and there in that lonely stable a king was born, our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a palace. Doesn't sound very special to me. It's not strange at all. In fact, I think it's rather wonderful. Is that the end of the story? Now is it finished? Not at all. Meanwhile, high up, out, high up in the hills outside Bethlehem town, that some shepherds were sitting two meters apart by the fire watching over the flock of sheep it seemed like any other night let's go let's go let's go let's go down to the town of someone to be found let's go let's go let's go let's go search for the boy who will bring us all joy let's go let's go let's go let's go Here's our plan. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Find baby Jesus in Bethlehem. 
in it. I can't hear myself think. But it's Baltic. Hold on a minute. <gasps> FYI, there are angels heading our way. I bring you tidings of great joy. Do not be afraid, the Son of God has been born in the stable in Bethlehem. His name is Jesus, he is our Saviour. Hurry to Bethlehem. Let's welcome the newborn King. Come on, let's go. Ah, right good. Yes. Ooh, exciting. You're right, love, it is exciting. Then they hurried to Bethlehem, they couldn't wait to see the newborn king. Inside the stable, they found Mary and Joseph with baby Jesus lying in a manger. It, I bet the shepherds felt nervous in the presence of the Son of God. Yeah, but when they felt his amazing love and peace, they were not afraid anymore. They wanted to bring Jesus a special gift, but what could they give him? They were only shepherds, and they were trying to find a gift in lockdown. It would have been a nightmare. Is this the right place? I have, we have brought him a lamb. I have brought him some toilet roll. It is in pretty high demand. I can't believe that we're the first to meet this special baby. Of the story? No. What happened next? Far away into the east, in a foreign land, there lived three wise men called Melchizedek, Balthasar, and Caspar. They also happened to be kings. Balthasar. They noticed a very unusual star in the sky. It was bigger and brighter than anything they'd ever seen. When the three kings put their heads together, they realised the prophecy had come true, that Jesus, the Son of God, had been born. <gasps> that star must mean something. The 
star will lead us to him. Quick, ask for that star. Wait! I forgot my mask. They followed the star, travelling back the land by camel. Because they couldn't use a car, probably due to travel restrictions. Bethlehem had just gone into T3. Remember, this was a long time ago, before cars. A big journey took days, weeks or even years The three wise men travelled on their camels for a very, very long time. I bet they had sore bottoms after that. <laughs> <laughs> The star came to rest over the stable like the shepherds before them and they wondered if they came to the right place. They went inside and saw the baby Jesus lying in a manger. Mm -hmm. Even though they were king themselves, they were humbled in the presence of this tiny baby, a king with a distance, a king who had come to save the world.
We have gifts for him. Gold. Frankincense. Mayor and a bottle of Punjab. Come on and meet him. Have you held your hand? God sent this tiny baby to bring peace and love to the world. Everybody felt the strength of God's love because God's love. Is that the end of the story? No, is it finished? No. Not, not at all. Even though it happened thousands of years ago. What happened next? Yes, what happened next? Get on with it. The story of Jesus' birth has been passed down for many years, from generation to generation. I told your mum she's telling you the story, and one day you will tell your children about the king who is the saviour of, of us all. So that's why we celebrate Christmas. Celebrate Christmas even now. That's why it's such a special time of the year. Ooh. Now, next year, every year, and all the years to come. Oh, oh I think we're all asleep now. Merry Christmas and sleep time. Thank you for watching our Christmas performance. We hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. We're walking in the winter wonderland. Thank you.